Good day, grade 10s. In this section, we're going to be studying the periodic table. Let's start with the basics. Very long time ago, there was a gentleman by the name of Dmitri Mendeleev, and in 1869, he managed to sort out the elements into some type of table. And this is his basic periodic table of elements. That is what he did. And you will notice that he actually managed to do a pretty good job, except that he did leave some spaces, and that is because some of the elements had not been discovered yet. Today we use this modern periodic table, which is the periodic table of elements, and we've already been finding out that we can use some of the information on the periodic table to tell us about the atoms in the periodic table. First of all, let's talk about the arrangement of the elements. Ele elements are arranged according to increased atomic number and atomic mass. Now remember, atomic number is the number of protons that you have in it, an atom, and atomic mass is the number of protons plus neutrons. Elements with similar properties are arranged in vertical and horizontal families. The vertical columns are called groups and the horizontal rows are called periods. So these are your groups, okay, so we've got group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, group 5, group 6, group 7, and group 8. Now we'll notice here, if you look very carefully, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way through to 18. Now, it at the moment, it is both of these numbering systems are used. Although you'll be presented with this, I will tend to use 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, simply because that is the number of valence electrons that each of these atoms have in these groups. Periods, the horizontal rows are periods, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., etc. So all the elements in the same group have the same number of valence electrons. Valence electrons are the electrons found in the outer energy level. Okay, so group 1 atom will have one valence electron, group 2 will have two, etc, etc. So if we look at this, you can see that group 1's got one valence electron. So you'll see that even sodium, who's got electrons, which has got electrons in the inner orbital, still has only got one valence electron. Group 18, okay, don't look at this one, this one's weird because it's helium, and remember I told you that helium's special. But if you look at neon, you'll see it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight valence electrons. And argon has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there should be another eight over there as well. So if we go back for a second, you will see that we spoke about group eight. 18, group 18 is group eight, so therefore they should have eight electrons in the outer electron shell. The periods are telling us about the energy levels. Each period tells us we've reached a new energy level or shell. So period one has got one energy level, period two has got two energy levels, etc, etc. So if we look at this drawing again, you will see that we've got the period hydrogen and helium are in period one, or row one, and therefore they've got only one energy level, one shell of electrons. Period two, you'll see they've got one, two, 1, 2, and period 3, we've got 1, 2, 3. Right, so groups tell us how many valence electrons, and periods tell us how many energy levels we have. Right, and that is the basic introduction to our periodic table. We will continue teaching you a lot more about the periodic table in the next few lessons. Have a great day, grade 10s.